Welcome to the channel. I'm Danielle from Our Roaming Hearts, and today I'm sharing what I pack in my toiletries bags. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, I just got done filming my video of how I pack for eight days into a carry-on for my trip. I am getting ready to head to Jackson, uh, Wyoming, and do the Grand Tetons, Yellowstone, Billings, Montana, t -backs. And I promised in that video that I would share my little toiletry bags here and what I'm bringing. And uh, my cute Halloween leggings here. I love these things. They're a couple years old, but still wear them. <laughs> it's September it's right now, so it's good. Okay, so I picked these up. I think, say it with me, on Amazon. <laughs> love picking up little things on Amazon. And it came in a pack of three. So I used one for my makeup. This one is... Uh, like my hairbrush, it's kind of seen better days there. Um, I put my toothbrush in here for my hair. I've got my makeup. Um, I'm not a beauty blogger, so really you don't want to know what type of makeup I use. I mean, I have something as simple as cherry chapstick in here. I'm not a huge makeup person. A little bit of eyeshadow, a little bit of um, eyeliner, mascara, bam, done. Mom of five, I don't do my makeup a lot. But I do have eyeshadow in here. I do have uh, my makeup remover, which, spoiler alert, this was a freebie <laughs> uh, Clinique, and it's amazing. And then I also keep in here, I keep these little clips. These are some little cheap clips that I use to section off my hair when I'm straightening it. And I keep uh, my extra hair ties in here as well. So this is the stuff that really doesn't qualify as liquids. That's generally what I try to keep inside this one. So I can pack this up and I don't have to pull this out in the TSA line. This one is the one I will have to pack and pull out in the TSA line. Um, Moleskin, I <laughs> am wearing some fancy shoes for a couple of the parties during t and I know I'm gonna have some blisters so that. I'm also gonna put some band-aids in there. I haven't done that yet. So travel-wise, I use these just makeup remover Towelettes. There's 10 of them in here. I'm going to be gone for eight days, one a day to remove my makeup at the end of the day. I bring a bottle of hand sanitizer with me. Again, I'm a mom of five and I don't need to be bringing back anything that is going to cause me to have sick kids for the next month. This is my body spray. It is in an unnamed bottle because my dad owns Smoky Mountain Handmade Candles. If you've ever seen anything on the site about them, that is my dad's shop and he makes body spray, the body spray that I use, and um, the lotion that I use, I use all of his stuff there. And then this is just a lotion, it's just an everyday, um, this is the vitamin C lotion, I can use it for my face, I can use it on my hands, whatever, so that's all kind of a multi-purpose lotion. Just a deodorant and just pick up whatever they have in the travel section. I do bring dry shampoo, especially because I am going to be visiting two different national parks and I will have a bathroom, but I don't wash my hair every day if I don't have to. So I will be showering. Don't worry. <laughs> if you want to meet me, I promise I will be fresh and clean and showered, but I don't wash my hair every day. So I do uh, use the dry shampoo and that also will help spread out um, your shampoo and conditioner that you have to use. I realize that I don't have a um, body wash in here and I am gonna have to stop at Walmart when I get into Jackson, I will be renting a car. We recently just had Hurricane Dorian and pretty much our Walmarts are wiped out in our stores. So I'm not even gonna try to hunt down a travel body wash. I'm just gonna pick one up when I get there because I'm going to grab a razor while I'm there, and I'm also going to grab a case of water, some granola bars, some snacks in case I'm not able to get to a place for lunch. I always, when I rent a car, I always like to keep water and, and snacks on me. And then I have toothpaste and, again, my little um, hair ties. So really, it's nothing impressive. I, like I said, I like to pick stuff up. Oh, I will also at Walmart be picking up a bottle of sea spray for my hair. I like to use the sea spray as a kind of protectant on my hair or just like a texturizer. Uh, I use that on the days that I use the dry shampoo. It kind of, the dry shampoo takes the oils away and then the sea spray gives it that extra oomph, I find. Uh, my hair is very weird <laughs> and doesn't necessarily follow what it should. So, with the exception of body wash and a sea salt spray. This is pretty much all I pack. I try to pack light. I do not really, uh, you know, high maintenance to begin with, but especially when I travel because 
I'm going to be hitting national parks. I'm going to be hiking. So I'm not putting on a ton of makeup that's going to be melting off. Um, I do want to have some makeup because I will be doing um, face-to-face, you know, meeting with different businesses and brands. So I do want to have a little bit of makeup. So again, this is what I have. And then this one, I will put this into my personal item when I travel, whether that is my tote bag um, or a backpack. This will go with me so that it's easy to get out, put into the TSA, to the, the TSA line, and then take it back. So this is it. Um, and if this won't fit in my personal item, I have, I put it in the front of my suitcase so that, again, it's easy to grab. So this was just a quick, short video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you found this useful at all, give me a thumbs up on the video below. Subscribe, hit the bell button to get notifications. I will link to how I pack my carry-on bag for an entire week in Strictly a Carry-On. And watch for videos coming from Grand Tetons, Yellowstone, and Billings. Those are all coming up. And I will link to these little bags below and along with some of the other stuff that I use in here. I will leave a link to um, smoking on handmade candles items. Those are all natural. Take a look at the videos that are now on your screen and the playlists. And I cannot wait to connect with you again. I will talk with you soon.